what's going on people this is shakedown and you know as as you notice i'm not in my studio usually recording i'm outside here in the ball ring and i got my man michael um and um basically um i'm just gonna do a, a quick interview with him um basically me and him we went to college um way 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 back way way back in 2004. he don't even know he doesn't even exist like i don't even know what it is anymore it's like I have no idea what it's like because I drive past there sometimes, right? And it's like stuck in green. It's still stuck in green, but I don't even know what's happened. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy. It but what my Matthew was college? Like yeah, 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 yeah. Then, then the merger happened, and then obviously, like you, you know, no one. No, wait, that's 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually like become Birmingham. Um, I don't even. I, don't, I, I can't even keep up with education anymore. And things that just change anymore because that happened around about 2004. That's when I left um, college. Um, I left. No, I left like 2006. I started in 2004. I left 2006. Um, so um, yeah, yeah. That's a long, long time ago. It's a long, long time ago, but then we um, we met up um, at uh, an event. Um, coincidentally, it was here in this building, um, and then uh, we exchanged details, got to um, you know to talk to each other, and then you know we're boys, so um, you know I've done some contact with him. So go check out his uh, YouTube channel, which is. So there you go. So yeah, so we're um, so we're here to talk about. It's not just me now. It's going to be talking about uh, Michael. So um, Michael. So since we left college, because we know we bumped into each other, like wow. like we bumped into each other, said hi and uh, hi and that, you know, now and again. Um, like what happened since this, since then? What's going on? <laughs> like i don't think everybody's gonna be like you know um got that 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 whole um intention to, to detail with yeah, even though we got to save a half an hour <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, uh, I, I was never really a fan of the education system because i wanted to go into acting and making films and producing films and okay so i knew that my education wasn't really in one because you can get any grades and still get into drama school based on your ability. Yeah, so yeah. I got into a drama school in Manchester. I mean, it was one of the top accrediting ones. Turns out it wasn't in Manchester University. In Manchester is like a fine drama school. Mm -hmm. So I went for my first year. It was a bit of a waste of time because I realised you didn't even need a degree to pull out. So I was just like, why am I doing this? This is completely pointless. Yeah. Um, and then I dropped out. And when I dropped out, I got into the club business. So being a pro, I was just like the guy coming out flyers and roads. Um, and I went to an event once and the bouncer wouldn't let me in. I was like, you know what? I'm there and do an event. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I ended up working and firing for every promotion company in Manchester, but it was good, it was too far. Yeah. Got a massive, massive network, massive contact list. Um, and then various people said to me, Look, you need to start your own event. So I had my own event. Became the number one student event in Manchester. Oh, that's and deep. Then from there, I went back to university because my family were like, oh, you gotta have a the degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like that myself. Like, I was like that myself. Yeah, yeah. So I went back. My boss was back over running my events business. Um, then we went from there. We started doing like after parties for different celebrities, ranging from Ryan Leslie to Will I Am to Justin Bieber. Will I Am? It was amazing. Great experience. However, there was a lot of downsides to it. Because you're dealing with people, you're dealing with drunk people, you're dealing with celebrities that are drunk, and sometimes they're drunk, and it's just dark side of it is just oh yeah, so I, I, I hear so much times about hearing the dark side of oh, of, of celebrities because um, like, me and you were talking along the way about what's happened with the oh, yeah, with yeah, Jesse yeah. Smollett and everything. What's your what's your take on it? The Jesse thing is we want you to get to, well the world that we live in now is the only way to stay relevant is to have some kind of controversy. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the Kardashians. It works. It works for them. It works for them. Yesterday, to my girlfriend, I was talking about 
this whole I don't even know what's going on in there. I can't even keep up with them. In fact, I've never, ever, ever watched an episode of of, of the Kardashians. I'm sorry. Don't at me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like where, where you and you and me can do a simple thing just like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they have to have the makeup, they have to have the lighting, they have to have yeah, the, yeah. Water, the, the water, the water that's perfect and yeah, everything, you know, all that sort of thing. No special effects, nothing in no comment, nothing, just bam. Even when they're using Instagram, they're using egg dots and so on, so on. And that's the kind of thing that I really like is, you know, the people who are using this is that they, some of them are amazing, don't get me wrong, but some of them are just, it tends to be the ones that aren't actually that famous. Oh, okay. Like, well, Oh, those are the ones that you mainly deal with. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the clubs, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. What's the nicest one you deal with? Nicest person. Yeah, nicest person. Yeah, Probably gonna say it's between. Actually, it's Michael Richards. Michael Richards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, one of my friends from university. He was his brother, and he was so sad. He's the kind of person that when he sees you again, he goes out of his way to say hello to you. Wow. Whereas celebrities don't do that. No. They, they don't do that. No, no, no. no. I mean, I mean, I, 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 I met Usain Bolt um, a few years ago. Um, I was, uh, I was uh, in there with my family. Uh, was I was in Gatwick Airport and. Um, I was tired out of my head, and then I saw him. I was sitting on on a on a, on a, um, um, a seat um, in the lounge, and uh, I, I looked up and I thought, "I see Saint Paul." I even rubbed my eyes <laughs> because I didn't think it was him. And I oh, turned to my brother, and, to, and they told my brother, "I said to him, I said, you Saint Paul?'" I said, "Yeah." And then and then um, and then we um, we uh, we went to. Um, Say hello to him because, like he said, oh yeah, I even, I even got my camera at the time. He said, "Is it all right to take a few pictures with?" He said, "Yes." And uh, we took a picture. He took pictures of with myself, my brother, my uh, my mom, and her, her best friend. He was like, he was that nice to do that. Like, to, to some do, of them, some of them, you know, are really nice people, and that's how they've got to where they've got. Yeah. Some of them have got to where they've got through doing all the things, which in the club environment you literally see them doing. Of a necessary place uh, to get to where they, they want to get to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I kind of had enough of that and the ups and downs and the ups and downs of running my own business. Um, so, what I decided to do is I got myself a job and I was working for first the Hilton Group. Um, then I was lucky enough to get an audit with the Coca Cola in the 2012 Olympics. Um, with their manager, that was amazing, one of the best life experiences of my life. And then from there, I graduated by. Samsung, I worked for them for a while, the marketing still doing odd bits for them, yeah. and for Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then from there I went and I did a Samsung before I started doing my online business. There was something I did. There was something else I did before I started doing so obviously I was working in a clothing store, so what I was doing is I was also doing my events. I was working in the number one clothing boutique store in Manchester. Oh. So what would happen is people, or, or rich people, it's kind of like hard nickel, but like boutique kind of thing. Ooh, okay. So people would come in, yeah. buy their clothes, and I recommend them for someone to go out, which would be my night. Or I meet people and they're like, oh, like, oh, okay, so you like your nice clothes, you should come to my store. Mm. And then I went away from that store and became a marketing manager. Yeah. And then I just had lots of ideas of how to get more sites in the store or to get more stores and just to get more money but the manager just wasn't interested and then it got to a point where my 
during all these events, I'm not going to struggle to have my three jobs. I was starting work at yeah, seven. I know how that feels um, like. <laughs> finishing work at sometimes three in the morning. And yeah. then starting work again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just had no time. And I was doing all this work. And I had my events. I was still broke. And I was just like, what is going on here? And then luckily for me, one of my friends who was a doctor, he approached me and he said, look, like, you've got crazy potential here. Yeah, you should have a look at starting an online business, an internet business. Mm-hmm. So I did that, got involved with that um, network marketing company. I've been doing that for the last five years now. Um, and just the bits and bombs of acting, bits and bombs of events. And mm-hmm. Now my main thing is that I want to kind of show young people and show people that anything is possible. That, to go and travel the world and see amazing things and live a great lifestyle. You actually yeah. don't need that much money. No. Like, people think that you do. Yeah. It's because they're kind of pulled into things that are unnecessary. So one of my big things is people spend loads of money on hotels. And they spend more money on a hotel than probably a rent for three months. Mm. They spend more money on a hotel and when they're on holiday, where are they spending most of the time? In the hotel room? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're spending most of the time. Yeah, of the that, it's a right. It's a wrong thing to do. I mean, it's a wrong, wrong, wrong thing to do. I mean, I'll give you an example. I went to um, um, uh, in, um, Turkey. Mm-hmm. This was way back in about two thousand. Uh, I think it's two thousand and seven. I've been down there, and um, I went there with my mom, my brother, um, and uh, my mom's friend's family. We went to a series of holidays together. Anyway, we went to the we went to the, the hotel, and um, we did, we we was kind of miffed because it wasn't like on the browser would say yeah they can do things like football and all that stuff. Um, and 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 then and then uh, we was miffed because we thought that that was going to become a in thing. We we was back for five, but we thought okay, we're here now. Let's just go ahead and just try and enjoy ourselves. And honestly, I did because I'm there. I'm I'm dancing to you know the Will Smith uh, thing like yeah, yeah, like yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was dancing everything yeah, like I'm everybody was doing there just on there. I was dancing. I was dancing out to everybody and everybody's laughing and, and everything. I'm like I'm the kind of person where I go on holiday and I would just go out for have fun regardless. Like even though I don't drink and everything, like by the way, you don't have to be drunk to have fun. No, you really don't. You don't have to. Really. But then you go. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. Oh, so wait, I just want to add something to that as well. What? You don't actually have to be with your friends to have fun. So the top four nights out in my life ever yeah. have actually been when I've stayed in hostels. Yeah. So because I had one good night, I said, you know what, I need to stay in hostel again. Yeah. And then I had another good night, and then now me and my girlfriend. When we travel, we stay in hostels on purpose. Yeah. One because some of the hostels are better than hotels in terms of how well and how clean yeah, yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. And then three, they normally do like a food tour or like a pump up. So you end up getting free drinks if you drink. If not, the people that you're with in the company is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Anyone that's even in your own city, I recommend finding the local hostel and going on there and dining out with them because the people that you meet and the energy that people have is just. I can't describe it. It's, it's like a festival. Yeah, but yeah, with, yeah. Like a group of ten people that you've never met before mm. and you're never gonna see again, and yeah. people just are a hundred percent themselves. Mm. Like, when, you, when you go out with friends, mm. so people kind of I think people call themselves like that. Oh yeah. I mean, they're like, oh, you can't do this because this friend will say this or this friend will tell this. Mm. But that's just friend banter. Yeah. Whereas with complete strangers, it's totally different. So, top recommendation is come out with complete strangers. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so that's, that's scary, a really, but it's actually a really great experience. Well, you know, you know what, you can't really help but um, just try and see yeah, what happens. Yeah, yeah. Just try. Um, so as I was trying to finish my story, what I was telling you, what I was saying um, is that we actually stayed in the wrong hotel. Um, oh no way! Yeah, we actually <laughs> stayed in the wrong hotel. We sat down and we sat down. We had dinner and we stayed. Uh, we we there was it, it dropped a big bombshell. We was like. How did this happen? Basically, we stayed at a hotel that was their sister hotel, and we went to the right one that had everything that were, that was on the brochure and everything, and looked it looked really really good. But we couldn't uh, even tell ourselves to so even move away because we made such well, I made such an impact at the hotel we couldn't possibly <laughs> move. We couldn't possibly move, so we ended up having fun down there. I remember even winning this. Um, 
men's beauty pageant thing as well, and I won a Turkish bath. I think, bath. yeah, I think. And I won, and I won a a a a photo shoot as well. Um, so like I, I did all that. I think all times cool. when it's like that, when they've got activities, yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, talking yeah. about when people go on holiday and they book expensive hotels and it's just a room. Yeah, yeah. That's, there's no activity. There's nothing. There's, there's, no there's, there's, like, there's just, just nothing. Why like, are you uh, paying? I like, I, I like to be able to go somewhere that uh, I know that I could actually get memories. Get, get memories from. I like to be able to make, talk to new people and get to know them. You know, play, play sports with them. You know, yeah. play football with them or something like that. I, I like doing things. I, I like doing things like that because you know, even though, like, I, and I like going out there just to you know, do something. Even though it look, makes me look silly. I don't necessarily care because once you jump on that plane, they're not going to come with you. And they're not going to come home yeah, with you yeah, and wear everything. They're not going to be at your workplace and say, oh, yeah, yeah, that's all you did, that, and everything and things like, you know, you're not going to see them well, again. Do so just, when you did this? Yeah, exactly. So, you yeah, know, so yeah. you couldn't you go ahead and just going to see that thing. You know, you, 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 like, I like doing things like that. I like uh, going to um, seeing things and I do yearn to go to, um, to, to see in more places. I live to go to road trips and stuff like that and live to a yeah. for like that. That's the other thing you know? I was gonna say that's my main thing that I'm pushing people to do is I push people so one of the things I do is I help people start their own online business. Yeah. Um so obviously that requires investment, it requires a lot of work. Look, I always tell people, look, it's better to the way that the economic and the Brexit and whatever, people's jobs aren't the same. So I don't know anyone that hasn't lost their job or changed their job in the last 10 years. Mm. Everyone I know has changed or lost their job. I've done so. <laughs> so I'm just like telling people, tell, tell, look, it's not safe. You need to have something of your own that you're doing that's making you some money and putting work into it. And then from that extra money, invest it in Netflix, invest it in, I don't know, in some company then instead of putting it in the bank because you're going to get a better return of investing it in a mm. good stock that you believe in that you buy already so say for example if you buy Nike stuff all the time why are you not investing money in Nike like why spend oh, why make an extra 150 quid and then get a nice pair he's, of traders he's saying that because he knows that. yeah I saw Nike <laughs> I just, I just he's saw saying it that because like, he knows yeah it just makes sense to just put 150 quid in a Nike stock and then what three years later five years later that could be thousand pounds yeah. and then you travel with that putting 150 pounds in the bank it's not going to turn into a thousand pounds no, it's just true. not going to do that no. and i think this is the biggest thing that i've discovered is that there's a massive miseducation for people number one of ethnic minority number two of people from working class background and in like inner city areas who yeah. just not taught the same things and the same principles that they're not making it re- they're not, they're not making it relevant enough. Ah, that's the thing. That, that's the thing. Right with like with, with the education, they're not yeah, making it relevant not, enough. So they're not. That's why young kids. And this is why I tr- constantly I'm trying to show these young kids. Look, you might be trapping, you might be hustling, you might be doing whatever. But those skills that you've got, you don't understand how useful they actually are. Mm. If you apply that skill system to something else, you're a business owner. You could be making millions eagerly instead of doing what you're doing mm. and again to be successful and to be happy you don't actually need millions you only need a couple of like you need like what three thousand to five thousand pounds a month to be happy to be completely free mm. because people don't realize that there's ways around doing things and getting things for cheaper and for, like like i said like if you know how to use the internet correctly say for example when are they having on there? six or seven holidays so more last year me. <laughs> and that was because i was constantly every day going on skyscanner and um i've signed up to something called jack's flight club i recommend it and you can get flights to new york return for like 50 pounds what you can get flights to brazil for 300 pounds you i got my flights to amsterdam recently for eight pounds yeah, I got my flights to Barcelona when I went for twenty-five pound return. Mm. This is what I mean. People need to look at what they're doing, and I feel that's the biggest thing that we're not taught to do. We're taught to buy things that don't actually really add value mm. to our lives mm. instead of either investing the money or buying experiences that will become memories. Mm. And I think that's the what my big thing that I'm trying to 
workout to my shit as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's always good yeah. things, mm-hmm. and now because the internet, it's easier to learn, it's easier to find. Whereas before, my parents, cool, they had an excuse. Like, if you weren't rich, and unfortunately, I hate to go down the street, but if you weren't white and you weren't from a rich background, you just weren't going to learn certain things. Yeah, you yeah. just didn't have access to yeah. certain things. Yeah, yeah. Whereas now, because of the internet, everyone's there, you can learn anything. There is no excuse for anyone to be in the same position they are in 2019 and then still be in the same position in 2029. Mm. Because you've got the best and greatest invention in the world ever. Technology. Technology. You can, like we're doing now, you can just record stuff, yeah. put it on the internet. It might take a while for you to catch on and get the views and get whatever, but eventually mm. it'll happen. And this one, and this is the thing what I'm trying to um, achieve because I know that I'm pretty good with my social media. Pretty good. I literally post or tweet every day if I can, if I can try and do it. Um, and then I would actually, um, I, I would actually, because uh, the reason why this uh, this uh, this um, whole thing came about is that my cousin came up to me and he said to me, uh, T, why don't you just do um, um, uh, a podcast? So I did it. Got myself a microphone and everything. Then I put my stuff on YouTube. And then I thought, okay, um, okay, it's getting me somewhere, but it's not getting me what I wanted to do. So I thought, okay, let me do things on a video basis where I can just vlog, I can talk about this thing, and everything. But you know what? And so far, it's worked. You know, because obviously, um, right now I'm doing shakedown, right? And um, and obviously, I'm taking it. I want to take it to. To, 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 to places. I want to take myself to places where I never thought about going to um, and meeting people I never thought about dreaming about meeting them and everything. Um, but I know as long as I keep doing it, yeah. it like a, I know that somebody will see it, somebody will yeah, say yeah. to himself and he's going to kick the thing and say, oh, you got to see this because he talks like this and he could, yeah. and, and you know, he comes across as, as, as a really, really yeah. nice guy, you know, and like get them on this show, get them on this radio station. I would, like, I, would, I would love to be able to do all that stuff, yeah, you know. I would, I would, I would, I would I love think to see people. Don't realize yeah. How long it takes? It takes five to ten years. Yeah. To become successful. Yeah. I think mean, people give up and they start listening to other people. Oh yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I think that's the the key thing is. I mean, it's easier to be successful in something, and obviously success means different things to different people. But your own version of success, whatever that is, mm-hmm. it's easier to do if it's something that you're passionate about oh, because yeah. then you put in more hours more hours you're, you're putting more hours and you don't even realize it yeah, yeah, yeah whereas yeah, yeah. when you're working for someone that you don't want to work for and the job that you don't mm. like mm. you just can't wait all you do is yeah like, i can't wait to do wait to just go yeah and if someone says to you oh will you do an extra day you're not going to do an extra day whereas if it's something you love so say for example i would if i could that's what yeah. i would say so say for example yeah. if it was you so, for example, if you was your job was to interview Arsenal players before and after the game, which I would. How many, how, <laughs> how many hours would you put into that? I'd like, I, I'd like, I'm I would do. I would give in my time, my whole time, any which way I could to it to exactly. to interview. That's what people need to do. Yeah, they need to do anything. And I'm not just saying that just because I'm an Arsenal fan. I'm saying I'm an Arsenal fan. I would. They're a terrible team. I would. Terrible, I would. Terrible. I would. Would. He is a Man United yeah. fan. Like uh, he is a Man United fan. Like you just had this. <laughs> we had that. Yeah, we I had that about. debate. It's like when, 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 when we uh, when, before we came on camera, we spoke about the things. But um, um, like obviously, just quickly on, on that, right? Where do you see this um fight going? Where do you see this? Uh, like who's gonna get fourth spot? Because I can speak right for my now. team, and I know that with the fixture list that we've got. You know okay, what I mean? It's, 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 yeah. But right now, in terms of form, Man United are just. I've never seen them play like this. I've it was literally the last time I saw them play like this was in '99 or maybe 2000. And okay, we're not going that far. I mean, that's, that's the level that's the that's same. Come with no, I think <laughs> we could. Not this season, but the coming season. I think we could. Just because if you look at it statistically on paper, Man United. Right now, it was, they're playing ridiculously. 
like really, really good. Like almost unbeaten. 13 games, 13, 14 games. In the there is so there is more for my have to concede that. That is the form is dangerous, and I think now team we're finally back in that position where teams start again to get scared of playing us, which is. It was our ultimate weapon. It was a psychological thing. Yeah. It wasn't actually that good some seasons, but and so I think although we've got City and we've got Chelsea, I think I just feel Solskjaer's have made the team and the players have stuck out against some big teams and done well. So do, 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 do you think that like okay? Do you think that Solskjaer is going to get the get the job permanently? Oh, yeah, There's no way. Like, if he doesn't get the job permanently now, the fans will be clapping. And whoever so comes in next, we're, we can't get the level of result that he's got now and transform these players into literally a completely different human. Paul Pogba is a completely different human being. I don't even recognise him. This is a different person. Yeah. Same thing with Lingard. Lingard was good under Mourinho, but now he's, he's almost like world class now. It's like. That's just incredible. Mm. Same with Anders Herrera. Yeah. He's just phenomenal now. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, you can't, it's too risky mm. to get rid of him now. That's, that's what it is. Well, yeah, well, what I see with my with my team is that, um, They're not that good. I'm the, the, <laughs> um, the, the way I see it with my team right now is that we are, look, we are, we are definitely in um, a transitional period. Um, I, th- I think that um, we do need to like we have come we have come some sort of form, but I mean look what what Emery's done is Emery just, is it, it, what Emery's done is just brilliant because he's he's got us playing in a different way. Yes, he needs to get his own players in and he has to put his own um, um, identity in the team. He's got to stamp that. He's got to stamp that and everything. Um, also, as long as he can keep understanding what he's doing, he's been playing well the last few games, to be honest. Also, he's one of the best players in the world yeah. when he decides to be. Yeah, but like, he, he's, got, he's got to do it on a consistent basis. That's yeah, really what I've been saying. And I've been, I've been saying that a lot lately to everybody that, yes, he, that on his day, he can be great, but he needs to do it on a consistent basis. Otherwise, why the hell are we paying 350k for him? Why are we paying that for Sanchez? You guys run blind. You know? <laughs> you guys it's not our problem. It is not our problem. Problem. Not, not our problem. problem. Not our 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 I can imagine the front three of him, Bami and Lacazette up front. Like, like, that would, that would get me drooling if that was up front and things that happened. But if we can actually come in and literally talk to his speech to the players and say to him, look, listen, I'm sorry I was wrong to do this and everything, but I was trying to get you guys up to playing up a, a standard or whatever the reason was, you know what I mean? Like, um, for them to kind of hash it out, and then they can actually sort themselves out from from that. Then obviously it'd be a good thing, and it probably would be a cheap signing as well. But I don't know. It would, it would, it would I don't be. know. It would I be. think we'd have to do another trade. It would be another trade. I mean, they, I don't even know who would we we would even think about trading. That's the thing. Don't we don't even know if think about who we would trade if we was to try and get Sanchez. I don't know who you know. Exactly. That's I mean, but we think with the, to be fair, we have some pattern, like poor dealings with you anyway. Because yeah. we had Sylvester, didn't work. That was terrible. Yeah, you guys got robbed there. We got robbed there. We took Van Persie. And then Van Persie, get the Van Persie. Oh, God. I used to always be around that. He was a sound actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just, you met him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But again, plenty of times. This is where I think it's real. This is what the problem with his career. Yeah. His certain players went out way too much out of his problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, uh, the thing is, I know he's working hard now to get himself back into the thing, and and, and uh, obviously we he's been badly missed the last few games or so. You know, he's been badly missed. Um, it would have been great to see someone like him to come back, but um, uh, I, I I do think that he was getting more contract. He might get that contract. He might get one. He might get that one year. I don't think he will. He might do. I don't think every appreciates 
Well, Wenger didn't think he didn't like players that went out and drank pie and then played Premiership football and there. Yeah, so that's, just yeah that's just too hard to do. Yeah, and I don't think any, if you want to reach a potential league, the whole point would be football. Yeah. I think that whole time that you're in football, you shouldn't drink alcohol. It's not. No? Sure. But they did. But obviously, they don't see the role models and everything. Yeah, because they don't put in that in that paper. That into, into, into really I mean, like to me, I mean to me, right? You and I would actually kill to actually be uh, to be playing professional football right now. Yeah. You'd like that's a fact. Yeah, most but when these they when, when these guys get right. there, they just don't understand what it to, what what it means to kind of say right then to play for a club, to do it for the fans, to pay for that all that money to come in. I mean, we pay more money than you do. We're like in terms of revenue. And everything. Yeah, we yeah, pay yeah, the yeah, biggest yeah. Um, revenue for uh, for the Emirates more than any other uh, any other stadium in in the thing. And to and for us to see results that's been going on the last few years or so, mm. that we yeah, they have to kind of rectify that. And I know yeah, that I, I know I'm angry at Cranky and 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 then, and I said what I said to uh, said what I said as much as I don't like him and and and, and everything else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I, I like I, I don't like the uh, the prospect of you know, the league. I mean, it's great going, it's, it's great going into new places, but seriously, I would I would take going to um, the Bernabeu, the Allianz, you know, all the all, all the all these the, all these things. I would I would take going and rather than going to somewhere like Azerbaijan and all yeah. this respect, but like. I would say I would I, I would I would like to do that because obviously there's like the excitement and everything, you know. So, um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we might be able to get Champions League football. Okay, we have spoken so much. Um, it's all over. Now. Okay. Now, we're talking for five minutes, ten minutes. <laughs> it just feels like it. It just feels like because um, we're like um, we didn't necessarily had a plan of what we was talking about. We was like obviously was wanted to talk to get to know Michael a little bit. Um, go ahead, just go ahead and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Um, and my Instagram, I am Mr. Harvey. I am Mr. H A R D I N. And um, oh, yeah. can I do a shameless plug? A shameless plug? Shameless plug. What's that? A shameless, you know, like when you're on someone's YouTube channel and you plug whatever you're saying. Okay. Yeah, cool. So, shameless plug time. Um, so, if you are after a cheap phone bill, Discounted phone bill. You pay too much, or you don't have enough mobile data. Get me a. That's it. That's the shameless plug. <laughs> that's the shameless plug. <laughs> that's the shameless plug. Sorry, <laughs> guys, gotta make a podcast. <laughs> okay. I see other people do it on YouTube channel, but I haven't done it, so I'm, you know. But yeah, this is the first time it's happened on mine. <laughs> but this is what happened on mine. But yeah. Um, so like I said, um, like just go subscribe, check out his um, his um, shameless book. <laughs> oh dear, check out his shameless book. Yeah, I'll be back with another episode um, soon. In the meantime, though, stay fresh, stay strong. Peace out. We're gone. All right. See you.